Hi everyone, I'm David Peterson, president of Pearson's senior class. Welcome to the baccalaureate ceremony. Although it's definitely different from years prior and the circumstances have definitely changed, it's still important to reach out to those that have helped you along your own personal journey and make sure that they know that they're appreciated, which is why it's my honor to be your host. The baccalaureate ceremony usually takes place in the high school gym, and while we all wish that we were together in that space, my classmates and I recognize that we can still say thank you to those closest to us from afar. The upcoming video hasn't just been in the works the last couple of weeks in light of a pandemic. It's been building through years of actions by valuable coaches, thoughtful educators, loving parents, and really everybody else that's taken the time out of their days to make ours better. Now it's time for something that we haven't been able to do together for a while. Please stand and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to get our program rolling, I'd like to introduce class essayist Harry Cowan to share a few words. Much like everything in 2020, this baccalaureate ceremony is different. We can't look into the faces of our fellow students as they speak, or into our teachers' and parents' eyes as they listen to our farewell thoughts and words of gratitude for their support and guidance over the years. Our senior year was hardly what we had hoped for. The fun traditions we look forward to from our 13 years together are missing. In the shadow of tragic world events, affirmation of our accomplishments has been diminished. However, we are the children of 9-11, born around the event that changed life in the world forever. We are resilient. We are capable of fostering change, adapting to the circumstances presented to us that are out of our control and succeeding against all odds. The class of 2020 is strong, capable, and innovative. We, as Pearson seniors, will go out into the world with a determination driven by an ability to overcome obstacles. We now know that we can no longer take anything for granted. And because of that, we will appreciate our achievements that much more. The nurturing of our families and teachers throughout our childhood has given us a sense of self that has made us who we are today. This baccalaureate is a small display of the immense respect we have for those of you who have made such a strong difference in all of our lives. Thank you. Thanks, Harry. I'd like to begin the set of thank yous tonight by sending a special shout out to a few very important parents from our class. For all the hours of support and encouragement when planning events like homecoming and prom, a bunch of different fundraisers and everything else in between. For all their contributions, we sincerely thank Sandy Cruel, Marie and Powell, Stephanie Bittis, Fran Nill, Ora Winterick, and Woody Neeland. And on that note, we have Class of 2020 face masks for each of you to always remember the silver lining of this spring, and those will be sure to get to you. We'd now like to give each student a chance to say thank you and issue a virtual rose to each of the people that have made a positive impact on their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020. Hi everyone. I just wanted to give a few roses out to some of the teachers that have definitely shaped my high school experience and made it that much better. My first teacher would be Mr. Solo. Uh, Mr. Sol has been great throughout middle and high school. He's a teacher that I was able to go to when I needed extra help and talk to. Um, when it comes to after school art workshops, he was definitely one to push me to do them. And for that, I thank him just because I have enjoyed them throughout middle and high school. And they were something that I definitely looked forward to during my day. My second teacher would be Miss Salato. When Ms. Salato first nominated me for Brookhaven in ninth grade, I definitely found an interest in that science field. And because of her, I now have a better understanding or a better feeling of what I want to pursue in my college and career plans. My third teacher would be Ms. Duff. Ms. Duff has been great. I love working with Ms. Duff in robotics and even through high school as a whole and so I thank Miss Duff for that. And my last teacher would be Mr. Malia. Even when I haven't had Mr. Malia as a teacher, he was definitely one to help me 
with math and just certain things that I needed help on. He was definitely someone that I could go to throughout middle and high school. And so I thank him for making the time to help me. So overall, I thank all my teachers. So thank you. There are a few people that I would uh, like to thank at this time. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank Mr. Ali for being an awesome security guard and just for being a, co a cool guy that you can always talk to in school. I'd also like to thank all the teachers that I have encountered throughout my IB program for making this difficult journey as easy as it could possibly be. And I want to especially thank my music teacher, Mr. Remsen, for always being one of the happiest people that I know and always brightening up my day. Hi, um, I'd like to start off by thanking all my teachers from senior year, but mainly to just like apologize to all of them for either turning in late or not turning in assignments during this online learning period. Um, Ms. Schaefer and Ms. Rothschild, uh, Ms. Bianchi, Ms. White and Mr. Barrett, Ms. Nicoletti and Ms. Truland, I love you all and I'm sorry. Uh, and to Mr. Holden, Ms. Loopy, Ms. Nicoletti again, uh, Bethany and Ms. Brannon. Thank you for running the theater department, my home for the past seven years. Um, and to Ms. Federico for being the best class advisor anybody can ask for. And to Ms. Carriero, Queen, um, and to my parents, because why not? Hi, I'm Heidi Bucking, and I would like to thank my family for all of their love and support, my classmates and friends for always having a good time, especially my physics class, for all of our fun times and memories, especially Six Flags and the city trip and all the friendships that I've made from that class, especially Dylan. Um, I would like to thank my IV teachers and AP, especially Mr. Rude, Mr. Shulman, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Gutierrez, and Ms. Bianchi, because when I was not able to be in school for a while, they all were willing to come to my house and help me with my homework. I'll miss you all and thank you. Firstly, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom, for their support throughout the years. And for that, I will present my mom with a rose. Secondly, I want to thank Ms. White Dunn, Mr. Rude, and Mr. Guinan for always going above and beyond with me to help me throughout high school. And for that, I will give each one of them a rose. And lastly, I'd just like to thank my friends for everything and wish them the best with their future endeavors. Thanks. Hi, my name is Samantha Cox, and I'm going to give my first rose to my grandparents. Grandma and Pop, you guys are my rock, my role models, my inspiration, and um, everything that I want to do, you're right by my side. So thank you very much for all your support. I love you guys. Next, I want to give my second rose to my mom, dad, and my two sisters, Lindsay and Taylor. You guys are my support system. You're always there to cheer me on with whatever I'm doing, and I couldn't be more grateful for you guys. I love you. My third rose is going to Donna Fisher. Um, Donna, you've been an amazing coach and a friend over the past how many years? I have no idea. Um, but you've pushed the volleyball program so hard and you know, you've taught us how to love volleyball and you're always there to cheer us on. So thank you for everything. My fourth rose is going to my friends um, at school, Pearson and Bridgehampton. Um, shout out to Dylan, Heidi, Angela, Ellie, Gabe, Ben, Haley and Olivia and many more. Um, you guys are great. Thank you for making high school fun. I miss you all. Um, and lastly, I want to give my last rose to my teachers that I've had at Pearson um, who've made it such a fun experience and have taught me so much. Special shout out to Miss Trulin, Mr. Holden, Miss Archer, Miss Miller, Miss Sullivan, Mr. White, Mr. Bramoff, Mr. O'Halloran, and Miss Glass. Thank you to everyone at Pearson and everyone in Sag Harbor for making it such a fun four years. Bye. I'm Nikki DeRussa and I'd like to thank Mr. Solo for being an amazing soccer coach and a really good art teacher. I'd also like to thank Mr. Holden for making me do good work and What's going on everybody? Uh, it's Nick Egbert here and I would like to thank Mr. Remsen for his positive energy that he brings to the classroom and out of the classroom and just whenever you see him in the halls he's smiling and it's just like it's it's reflected on me like I, I want to be Mr. Remsen in that way. Um, 
uh, Miss Bianchi, she is pretty similar in that she's so positive and so energetic in the classroom and out of the classroom. It's just like you have a smile on your face anytime you're with her, really. She's a great teacher and great human being. Uh, Miss Farrell, another English teacher who has taught me so much. She's so smart. She has so many different perspectives and, and just so much knowledge, and she's given a lot to me. Um, and she's just a great person to talk to and a wonderful human being. Um, Mr. Fujita is an awesome dude. He is a young teacher who has shown that you know he can make kids work hard, but also have fun, you know. And that, that's a really cool equilibrium to have. Um, and Coach T, he's one of the realest people I've ever met. He's so nice and um, just very down to earth and he's just friendly to anybody he, he meets and it's it's just awesome and, and I, I really hope to um, show some sort of traits that he has. Um, and Miss Federico, uh, I really appreciate her. She's so amazing. She's helped me through a lot and helps the class of 2020 um, and works her butt off so she's awesome as well. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody. Hi, I'm Haley, and I want to say a few quick thank yous to people who made my time at Pearson just so special. First, I want to say thank you to my parents for always being there for me and helping. Then I want to say thank you to my second parents, Leslie and Dee Yardley, and the whole Yardley family for just being so great. I also want to say thank you to some of my teachers, Mr. Rude for teaching me how to actually like math and do it, and also Ms. Federico for being a really good class advisor. I also want to say thank you to my friends, especially Peter and the whole Schaefer family for always being there for me through thick and thin, and also my girlfriends, they're just the best, so thank you. Okay, I, I think it's my turn. Um, so I'm just going to get right to the chase. There are a lot of people I would like to thank for making the past 13 years of my life an absolutely unforgettable experience. First, I'd like to thank my friends and family. My friends, you know exactly who you are. You know who I would thank you all. I just have a really deep connection with all of you, and I feel like you've all helped me through this journey. You've guided me, and it just means a lot to me, and I appreciate every single one of you. I would also like to thank my family, um, my mom, Sandra Cruel, the one and only, um, Kevin Cruel, Nick Cruel, Brandon Cruel, Catherine Cruel, and also the McNamaras. I would also like to thank Robin, Piro, Bachi, and Jaji, all of you guys have supported me so much during this journey and you're always there for me. Even if I'm not playing baseball or doing any of that, you all always were the first person in line to get tickets for all my productions. You're always in the first row and it just, it means so much to me and the support you guys have shown to me is just insane and it, and it just means the world to me and I wouldn't take it for anything. Um, I would like to thank my animals that I've had over the past 13 years, um, Sawyer, Willie, Bella, Stella, Kiara, and White Cat. I just know I can turn to them and have a simple, nice little conversation whenever I want to, and I appreciate them for that. I would also like to thank um, a few teachers. I would like to thank Mr. Rude and Miss White Dunn, my two Survivor watchers, um, also Showman, we watch Survivor too. We just always can have conversations about the show. We always know that we can, I can always talk to any of you and it just, you've all made this experience so enjoyable. And also Mr. McGovern, you're a king. I love you as a teacher so much and you've really taught me a lot and I'm, I really appreciate you. And the one and only Jenny Bianchi, I love you so much. We've. I've been with you since ninth grade, and I don't think there's been a day where I've been in school that I haven't talked to you during those four years. Um, I'm always comfortable turning to you. I can always talk to you. It just, it just means so much to me. Love you. Um, I would also like to thank the people who led me to discover my passion of theater. Miss Brennan, Miss Miss Bethany, um, Mr. Holden, and everyone else involved. Gianna, Melissa Lupi, um, Oscar, Miss Nicoletti, you all just mean so much to me and I really appreciate that you were able to guide me to find my passion. Um, and there are some staff I'd like to thank too. Mr. Guinan, uh, Ms. Maritas, Ms. Galanti, Ms. Motto, and of course, Mr. Nichols. You all have just absolutely slayed as, a, as an administration team and you all always know what's good for the school. And yeah, 
And my last thanks would like to go to the one and only Terry Federico, the queen of the class of 2020. You always know, you always step up to the plate to help us. You're always our class advisor. You know what's best for us. You always help us get what we want. You put us before a lot of people. You put the class of 2020 before a lot of things and, it, and it, we all really appreciate it. I'm not just speaking for myself when I talk about this, I'm speaking for everybody. We all appreciate you so much and we thank you. And to my fellow class of 2020, I wish you all good luck and I'll, I'll see you again. Hi, I would like to thank all the teachers that I've had over the years. And as boring as some classes may have been, overall it made the class a better experience. I want to specifically thank Mrs. Archer for just being a great teacher and pushing me as a student to do better while still being funny and relatable. I look forward to your class every day and the conversations that our small group, aka your favorite group, had. Honestly, if it wasn't for you and your class, Sam and I wouldn't have become close friends that we are now, so thank you. I'd also like to thank Ms. Class. Although I may not have been your student, you are always a mentor to me and always honest and gave me like great advice, so thank you. I would also like to thank a new French teacher, Ms. Rothschild. Thank you for teaching French in a new way and assuring at least me that it was okay if I don't understand everything and just making first period French an enjoyable experience. I'd also like to thank Mr. Kelly. Whether it was Global 10, Criminal Justice, or this year AP Gov, I learned much from your classes and left each class with more of an insight of history, which is definitely coming to use, especially now. Um, and I will vote this coming November, I promise. Lastly, I just want to thank my friends and family for always pushing me and being there for me and made my high school experience great, and I'm very thankful. Hey, everyone. So... As our senior year comes to a close and we start to move forward to things like baccalaureate, graduation, etc., uh, there are a few people that I'd like to thank that have helped me along my Pearson journey, um, but more broader my life journey and helped teach me things about not only becoming a better learner, but a better person. For the sake of the video, I'm only going to mention six, but there are more, of course, that goes without saying. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. So in no particular order, I'd like to thank Mr. Holden, uh, Mr. Schumacher, Dr. Schumacher, Ms. White Dunn, Mr. Rude, and uh, Mr. Shulman, Clint Shulman, for um, helping me grow not only as a learner, but also as a person. I know I said that earlier, but uh, I really mean it. And um, thanks so much for everything that you guys have done for me. Uh, I found that I had the best time at Pearson in each of your classes, whether that be for my friends or you know how interesting the class was, or more broadly, you in general. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I think that you know how much I appreciate each of you. And um, I'll certainly never forget the things that I've learned, not only um, from you in particular, but also uh, being in your class and um, growing, growing in general. So. Once again, thanks so much to all of you, and um, I wish you the best of luck as I leave Pearson. And um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thanks so much for your time, and take care, everyone. Hi, my name is Cody Penafiel, and tonight I just want to thank a few people that have been with me throughout my high school years. Um, the first person that I want to thank is Miss Glass. She's been very, very supportive of me. Uh, she's been helping me with any type of problem that I've been having, whether if it's school or some type of like classwork or anything. Um, she's been there all the time. I've been asking her any questions. She'll give the right answers. If not, she'll just try to help me out, figure it out. Um, she's been a very great motivator to me. She's been telling me to keep moving on, uh, even if I have any problems and she, I have, and she's just an overall great person. And I'm very thankful that she has been uh, with me throughout my high school years. Uh, the second person I wanna thank is Mr. Solo. Not only he is a teacher, but he is a great soccer coach. Um, I When I first met him, he was an art teacher. I was very happy that I was in his class. He taught me uh, what to do with trying and what to think about uh, when, while I'm trying. And as, after I got into those classes of art, I learned that he was a soccer coach, and that's when I joined the soccer team. And when I joined the soccer team, I got into varsity and I got a little bit shy in the first times of uh, practice but now 
when I got to build a connection with Mr. Solo, I've been very really happy that he's been a great coach. Uh, he's been very also motivated. Um, he's been telling me the good advice to how to play well in sports and to be a very good person in life after high school. Um, I just want to thank my family. My family has been there since when I was first entering uh, school. Um, not only entering school, but they've been around for a long time. And I just want to say that they are my number one um, in life. They've been motivating me no matter what. Uh, I'm just very thankful for everything that they've done for me. Um, they've been sticking around, saying what what's good and what's bad. I just want to say not only to those people that I'm thankful for, I just want to thank everybody in the Pearson facility, everybody there, all the teachers that I've had over the years, and I'm just very thankful. So, thank you. Every, everyone at Pearson, I want to thank because it was everyone that made my experience amazing. But I wanted to especially thank Mr. Holden, Ms. Bianchi, Ms. Farrell for always challenging me, Ms. Gutierrez for taking an interest in what our students cared about and wanting to see from their perspective, Mr. Rood for always cheering me up no matter what I was stressing about on any given day. I could talk to you and you would just take my mind off of it. My physics class, um, I had no idea how close we were gonna be and I'm so grateful for you guys. Woody Neeland, you've been my coach since I was six years old and I just, I've always looked up to you and I always will. Miss Trulin, an amazing math teacher and an amazing softball coach. Mrs. Fed, an amazing advisor thank you for everything you've done for us and always being interested in what we're doing mr ali for always asking how we are and my family for their unconditional love and support i'm a pearson whaler and tonight i would like to thank mr solo ninth grade was very difficult for me not only being a new student and not having many friends but i also experienced a lot of personal issues your lunchtime art class was a great way for me to feel welcomed as well as comfortable so in 10th grade i knew i needed to be a part of that lunchtime art class again but 11th grade was really the highlight of my high school experience between advanced photography studio 2 first period as well as the italy trip the italy trip is something that i will never ever ever forget and i hold it very near and dear to my heart if it wasn't for you i would not have experienced half of the things that i did we created so many memories and laughs it was an amazing trip and i'm so grateful that i got to be a part of it i also want to thank you for never giving up on me and always pushing me creatively and giving me a lot of resources and tools to better myself as a photographer. You always believed in me and supported me and asked me if I was okay. Thank you. I also want to thank Mr. Kinnear. You pushed me physically and mentally by allowing me to be a part of your cross-country team. It's something that I never thought I was able to do, but because of you, I realized how mentally and physically strong I am. And you never gave up on me, no matter how slow I was. Thank you. And I also want to thank Mr. Holden. Your dry and witty humor was always the highlight of my high school days, and I never will forget you. One, two, three, go. I'm Erin, and I want to thank my mom and my grandparents for always supporting me throughout high school. And I want to thank my Animal Science 1 teacher, Miss Beckman, because I wouldn't be where I am in Animal Science without her. And Hannah and Maddie, my BOCES friends, because they're the best friends that I've had in high school. And yeah. <laughs> I'd first like to thank my teachers, Mrs. Truland, Mrs. White Dunn, and Ms. Mr. Solo and Mr. Barron for being so kind and patient to me all the time and making every day in class an enjoyable and informative experience. And I don't think that my high school experience would be the same if I did not have these teachers. I'd also like to thank my friends Gianna, Kiara, Milo, Eileen, and Esther for being the best and funniest and nicest group of friends I could have ever hoped for and I can only hope that I was a, as good a friend to them as they were to me. And finally, of course, I'd like to thank my family for being supportive of me all the time and being there for me no matter what. So. Happy graduation, everybody, and thank you so much to Pearson for making my high school experience such a good one. First, I want to thank my parents and my step-parents for being very supportive and always there for me throughout high school. Um, I also want to thank some teachers who have meant a lot to me, Miss Bianchi, Miss Farrell, 
Mr. Holden for always making me love English and just being part of my favorite classes. Um, Mr. Holden, thank you for helping me with the extended essay. That was very much appreciated. Um, Miss White Don for always being there to talk to and being very inspiring and just smart. Miss <laughs> um, Gutierrez, I wanna thank you for always being very uplifting and fun and always around to throw a party or give us tea when we feel sick. <laughs> um, I want to give a shout out to my IB Physics class and Mr. Shulman for being um, one of the best classes I've ever been a part of. Um, very close and very fun. And my AP Calc class and Mr. Rude, same thing, just so much fun and I have great memories with you. Um, I want to give a shout out to my work family at Serene Green for being super fun and always being there and all my friends for being the best and miss federico for being the best class advisor always doing everything she can for us and yeah thanks everyone <laughs>